Peace. Infinite Ward is diving deep once again. We are <gasps> surrounded by leaves in nature, baby. Breathing in that good ass prana. Why perfect people only smile once a year? Is that all? Yeah, that's all. Are you a perfect person? Be honest. Put your hand up if you are. I used to be a perfect person, a perfectionist. Wait a minute. Okay, not anymore. Now, there is another YouTuber who is having problems uploading videos. They're just not good enough. She is really judgmental towards herself, beating herself up with avocados. At least that's okay. That's okay. Okay. Now for you, it could be, you don't know what kind of shoes to wear today. You don't know what to wear on Wednesdays. You're standing in the mirror for 30 minutes. Or seven day vegan challenge. You just don't know how many blueberries to eat today. Should I go with seven? No, eight? No, nine? No. You're trying to find the perfect number. And you are still in front of the mirror, aren't you? Not good enough? No? We ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello there? It is a beautiful day. Now, let me share with you what's helped me along my journey in becoming your greatest version. My greatest version. Deal with perfection. I used to be a perfectionist, okay? I used to only smile once a year. And as a psychologist, I'm going to tell you why you may only be smiling once a year. You see, perfect people only smile once a year because they live by the two S's, which are serious and strict. Like you're really serious and strict. Look, I'm the kind of person to start dancing in a video. With leaves behind me, baby. Oh, yeah. No perfection here, no seriousness here, not strict at all. Uh. Yeah. Okay, seriousness is a disease. Mm. Slow motion that side. Mm. And being too strict on yourself is also a disease. And that was me along my early journey. It was never good enough. And that is why, as a psychologist, I talk to artists every single day who are depressed. There's a reason why a lot of artists suffer from depression, because it is just not good enough. And you're like, huh? That's bloody amazing. And they're like, no, it's not. So they're only smiling once a year. Because they're living by the two S's. So in becoming your greatest version, what's help me along my journey is just to relax take a chill pill for goodness sakes and realize that whatever you do is good enough because at least you've done something and if you haven't done anything well get a move on why perfect people only smile once a year because you see the other 364 days you get it wrong that one day, yeah, everything goes right, right? So it's only like once a year, everything goes right. And the other 364 days, yeah, complete mess. Okay. Is it worth it? Is it? I don't know. You want to get it perfect, not perfect, but perfect. Cat down the road is giving you lessons here, how to say perfect. And now you've got more anxiety than ever, more panic than ever, and more self-doubt than ever, because it's not perfect. And it's hard right now. You're wishing you wasn't even yourself right now, okay? So what helped me along my journey was, re was realizing this. Oh, the leaf is scratching me a bit here. That there is no perfection anywhere. Look, go outside of your house and show me something perfect. You see, nature isn't interested in perfection. 
it is only interested in authenticity. Mm. Slow motion that side. Mm. That is why no two flowers compete with one another. Okay, do you speak the flower language? There's no competition there. But as human beings, we want to be perfect. You're still not happy with that picture you uploaded to Instagram, and so you took it down. It was only up there like five, se no, five seconds, five seconds, and you took it down already because it's just not good enough. But wait a minute, you spent like an hour trying to get it ready trying to take it, trying to pose for the camera. And it took five seconds to take it back down. You see, a lot of perfect people only smile once a year because they are trying, trying, trying way too hard. Have you ever noticed why people that try really hard, like really hard, they put their heart and soul into it, get nothing. And people who do nothing get everything. Because they are realizing the secret that the more you allow, the more you have self-acceptance for yourself, self-acceptance, you'll be fine. Because really and truly, it is not that serious. You're going to be out of here in the next 200 years, yet you're still figuring out what brush to use in Photoshop. Goodness gracious. That was me along my early journey. And I'm scratching my head like, do you even know what you are on planet earth, go to the ocean, realize how tiny you are, right? That's the mindset I had, which helped me become my greatest version to realize it isn't, it's not serious at all. Okay. It's nowhere, nowhere near as serious as you think it is. But you see, perfect people only smile once a year because they are trying to control everything. They want to control the weather. They want to control how you see them. They want to control like how many blueberries go into their mouth at the same time. And it is really frustrating. So to do yourself a favor, realize that you control nada, nothing at all externally to you. Okay, sometimes you're walking outside and it just starts pissing it down and you forgot an umbrella. Or well, sometimes you go to the beach and someone takes your place that you normally sunbathe in. Happens to me all the time. I'm just trying to get a tan on, that's all. Okay? Look, <laughs> we don't control anything, but we do control our perception we have towards ourselves. The perception you have of yourself is greater than the perception other people have of you. Let me repeat that. The perception you have towards yourself is greater than the perception other people have towards you. And when I realized that secret early on my journey, I said, wow. So for once, you're telling me that it doesn't matter what other people think of me? That's right. Really? That's right. Oh my goodness. Let's celebrate. You see, perfect people only smile once a year because they think that they are here to please everybody. If you are someone who is trying to please everybody, it's going to be really hard. You see, because authentic people aren't interested in pleasing other people. They are only interested in pleasing themselves and by pleasing themselves, pleasing other people now becomes the byproduct. Mm. Slow motion for that one, baby. Mm. Do you know I don't check how many views a video gets? Do you know what as well? I don't care because I'm only focusing on the creative process. You see, perfect people only smile once a year because they're trying to fit in. They're trying to be accepted when they were born to stand out. No two people are the same and no two people are here for the same reason. So if you are someone right now, I'm speaking to you like heart, heart to heart, baby. If you are someone and you're like, it's never good enough. I'm not good enough. It's terrible. Chances are, you are going to have a hell of a lot of depression, a hell of a lot of anxiety, a hell of a lot of panic, a hell of a lot of, a hell of a lot of, a hell of a lot of crap. 
going on in your brain right now, in your mind right now. Because you've got to realize one secret, and that is you are irreplaceable and you are enough as you are. I'm not here to put on a show and people know me for that. That's why I get away with anything. Check this out. As I was saying, be yourself, do what you want and realize you didn't come here to be perfect. You came here to be real. And that's as real as it's going to get, baby. We're out here. We're nature. Woo! Breathing in that good-ass prana, baby. Infinite waters. Diving deep once again. Stay well. Stay healthy. Peace.